Six months after his overdose in Toronto, Johnny was at death's door again. Your father and I searched around, finally found him in the motorhome. And wow, we, we really had to help him all the way to the microphone. I had become habituated to amphetamines and barbiturates and alcohol, all three at the same time. I got up to a habit of as many as 100 pills a day and a case of beer. And uh, there's a lot of people OD'd on a lot less than that. If you were buying Johnny's records in the 1960s, the evidence was staring you in the face. At six foot two and 150 pounds, Johnny was so thin, a strong wind could blow him over. And the wind was about to blow. Two months later, he was jailed for public drunkenness in Starkville, Mississippi.